Hello, welcome to Kumari's Home Cooking. Today's recipe is going to be uh, tamarind spicy fish and uh, I'm going to use a lot of uh, tamarind juice and it's really good. This is an old, old recipe. People, people still using it. Uh, I have about 800 gram of fish and uh, I have three medium tomatoes and ginger garlic paste and this is actually lemongrass it's already minced i bought it ready made but i'm going to still blend it with the other ingredients and this is galangan it looks like ginger and this one is candle nuts wakras they call it in malaysia this is a malaysian dish and i have bought small onion not very small uh, this is 10 onions and I'm going to blend onions, galangan, candle nuts and this lemongrass. Actually, you can put the lemongrass whole but I don't have it. This is the minced one but I'm going to still blend it to make it more fine. Okay. Uh, and I have also the other ingredients. Okay. Here I have some uh, dried chili paste. This is already blended. And I cooked it with oil so it can last longer. So I keep this always ready for my cooking. I'm going to use this chili, dry chili paste for about 5 tablespoons. If you want more spicy, you can add more. Okay. Let's uh, blend the ingredients and see how it works. Okay, the onions are in the food processor. I'm going to put the lemongrass, frozen lemongrass. It's been chopped finely. I'm going to add this. I already add in, I already blend the ginger garlic paste. If you don't have that, then you can put in the garlic, ginger, everything and blend it. Even dried chili, if you don't have the paste, you can blend it together. And then I'm, I'm going to add this galangan. And I'm going to add this candle nuts. Okay. Okay, it's done. Okay, here I have 5 tablespoons of oil and uh, you need more oil for this cooking. And I already blend all these onions, lemon grounds, gulangan. Okay, you can also blend ginger garlic if you don't have the paste. You can blend it together. Okay, let's put this in and cook for a minute. They call these uh, some products in uh, Malaysian language. And I'm going to put in the chili paste. This is the chili paste. I'm going to throw in half of it. It's about five tablespoons. Some dried chilies are not spicy. Some are very, very spicy. Okay, I'm going to cook this for five minutes until its oil comes out. And I forgot to mention about the tamarind juice. You need one, at least two cups. This is uh, like uh, one lemon size. And then I dilute in the water. And I make it like three cups. So that I can get the amount of li liquid. Okay, now I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste. And cook for another five more minutes. And also you have to add a little bit of uh, turmeric powder. This is like uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay, I approximately add in. The oil is already coming out. One tablespoon of sugar, 
I'm gonna see if uh, how much how much I need. Now I'm adding one tablespoon, and also I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. You must add in sugar because if this is sour, spicy, salty, and sweetness must be there. Okay, I'll go with two tea tablespoons. I don't want too much sugar. Just two tablespoons. If you have brown sugar, it's better. You can use brown sugar. I'm gonna cook this all few minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add the one cup of tamarind juice, and um, actually it should be three. It's that's that is that is including the water. So another two cups of water. Okay, let it cook for at least ten minutes, and then don't throw in the fish right now because it will get it all will be broken. And I'm gonna add the tomato together and one more cup of water. Okay, this amount is for the 800 gram of fish. If you are using a small amount, yeah. then you can reduce the amount of all the other ingredients. It's up to you. You can just, you know, try to adjust accordingly. Now I'm gonna add the tomato and cook for another 10 minutes. Oh, sorry, five minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add the fish. I'm not gonna put in all the fish because it's too much. Maybe about 500 grams I'm gonna use. And I'm going to squeeze in half a lime. You can use any kind of fish you want. Okay, let it, let, let it cook for four to five minutes. And I'm going to throw in this green chili. Here I'm going to squeeze the lime, half a lime. This is sour fish, okay? Tamarind sour fish, but I add lime. It gives more taste. Mmm, wow, it looks wonderful, eh? It tastes really good. You must try this recipe, guys. Okay, everything is done. I hope you guys will try this recipe at home and I'll see you guys in the next video.